welcome to my channel Fat to Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I use the ketogenic journey to lose over 200 pounds. Not my lowest. My lowest is 158.8. We are working to get back there. This month we've been doing our August challenge with Love Our and Keto channel, Wendy and Harry, because we all got the C word in January together and it messed our system all wacky up and we have struggled to get the weight off that we put on during it. I put on way more because I'm very sensitive, y'all. I have a lot of issues health-wise. Polycystic ovary syndrome, all kind of garbage that I'm not even going to discuss because most people have been here forever and heard it all a million times. If you're new to my channel, this is my daily life recipes, kitty cats, whatever I do. It's a journal. Just whatever I feel like talking about. Yes, yes, my hair is not the proper color because I'm normally a blonde. So... Less, the challenge this month is doing our glucose and our ketones and adding some fasting. So here we go. I'm going to show you this morning's reading, show you me discussing why my hair looks like this, and then, then I'm going to step back and show you my cute little outfit I'm wearing. Glucose, 81. Ketones, 0.5. Okay, I almost forgot to record. I'm having another chicken wraps salad type things like yesterday. Um, I realize this is extremely, extremely got a lot of fat in it from the um, mayonnaise. I added it up as I'm eating it of how much mayonnaise I use. So it's like 60 grams of fat that um six ounces of chicken breast a tablespoon of my sweet by splenda dill little chunks um or coaster chunks i didn't put any eggs in it it doesn't have any sweet and low it just has mustard mayonnaise and apple cider vinegar and the egg life wraps and i am starving so it is 12 o'clock and i'm gonna eat waking up earlier is making me extremely hungry within two hours i am so hungry i can't even function it's so weird to me okay the lighting is bright in here so i figured when the dollar tree which is in dollar anymore i would show y'all what happened like what happened to your blonde yeah so awesome along to get the copper out i have been using Girls Night Out, Art at Fox, Purple, with conditioner. I leave it in for like 15 minutes, and it's the color y'all been seeing, that y'all been liking. I used a different conditioner today. This is the results, and it's not washing out. Totally not washing out. Dino's making fun of me for recording in here. He's like really in what the way. I thought it would be fun to do a little video where you could buy here to eat, but there isn't much at all in the workers over there. They have a pack of hot dogs, they have some eggs, some fake sliced cheese, very fake. It actually has two carbs per slice. Um, and they have like a little frozen broccoli and cauliflower. That's your only choice. Usually at places like this, there's a lot of choices. Okay, so it's a lavender-y color, but kind of looks gray in some light and dark browns and like, it's all, yeah, it wasn't supposed to do this. But it is what it is, and this is what I'm working with. I've got a lot of compliments, okay? Okay, men don't usually talk to me. Except when my hair is that crazy orange superhero red color. Or if I do some other crazy color. I have got multiple comments. Multiple comments from strangers. Which really shouldn't matter, but it kind of boosts your thing when you left the house like, oh, I don't really like my hair. It makes me look old. Like, I was really scared it's making me look really old and washed out. So, that being said, well, let me show you the outfit I got at Walmart yesterday. The pants was between $7 and $10, probably $11. The shirt is about the same price, so about a $20 outfit. 
I am in love with Walmart clothes. Now, the tank top you're going to see, I paid 50 cents when they were clearance in it this summer, or 25 cents, something like that. So, here we go. This is my little outfit. Let me see if I can raise y'all. Or, hold on, we're gonna walk back this way because I've been cleaning, so I moved furniture around. All right, so, but they're lying this year because when I was in there shopping, same brand as I'm wearing now, um same like style everything just different pattern and different color it's from last year and it's a medium well this one's a large and it's tighter than that medium last year was i'm just saying sizes aren't equaling so y'all i keep chopping my head off hold on maybe i can't go high enough not to chop my head off oh there we go Okay, here we go. Still chopping some of it, I think, but it is what it is. So this is what I'm looking like. I weigh more than when I started the challenge, but two or three pounds. Um, but, but I'm in a smaller size than when I started the challenge. Literally, like I can get into the 13 jeans now and I barely could close the 15 without dying. And yes, yes, those 13s. The 15s are just falling off me like crazy. And the 13s, I couldn't even pull up over my thighs. My thighs have shrunk drastically on this whole trying not to stress and just do our blood sugars and see what happens. And higher fat keto instead of higher protein keto, because I've always done higher protein keto throughout my whole entire journey. Um, and I'm trying the higher fat because my fibromyalgia is about to start getting really bad. It already started. And ketones, high ketones is supposed to help that. Well, y'all, I've been chugging down the fat into the hundreds and I'm used to only 45s and my ketones still aren't rising. And it's supposed to be rising. It's supposed to, literally. I've done so much research. You eat, you eat this, they rise. However, they do rise after I eat a meal because it's full of fat, but I burn it so fast, I guess, because it doesn't stay in my system long. Um, I don't want to take exogenous ketones. I am thinking about doing an experiment with them in a month or so, but they taste like garbage and I can't suck them down. They're horrible, horrible. Um, never been able to do it yet because they're so gross. I spit it out. Like it's like involuntary. Out they go. So, so yeah. So this week's challenge for me is sleep okay changing my go to bed at 6 a.m between 4 and 6 a.m and waking up between 1 30 and 3 to going to bed by 1 2 at the latest waking up at 10 20 at the latest because monday monday i have to wake up like at 7 tuesday i have to wake up at 6 i have an appointment monday for me and the cats are getting fixed two of them are getting fixed on tuesday and then after they're healed and well, in October sometime or September sometime, we're going to schedule the girls. Um, come to find out there's nothing I could have done to get them fixed sooner. Uh, I thought they were just booked up every time every place said they couldn't do it until August 22nd. Like after that date, I found out because here something to do with their hips needing to spread far or something. Anyways, they have to be five months old to get fixed here. So that is why, because I started training around three months and four months and everyone kept saying, okay, it'll be the end of August, in the August. I thought they were just so booked up. And then this place explained to me, no, they just won't do it until they're five months old, especially boys. Um, because it can stunt the growth of their hips, which sometimes later in the future, they have to get surgeries. It is rare, but it can happen. So, so far we're good. So far the two female older cats who can get pregnant because the other ones have not gone in the heat um, are not pregnant. So keep crossing fingers. We only have a few more days, few more days, few more days. They're both in heat. We're keeping them all separated. A few more days. <laughs> Please, God, please. <laughs> no, no more cats. No more. No more. This is enough. I, 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 I've come to the concept or the realization that I have, I have no choice but to have these eight. 
I'm gonna love them. I'm gonna take care of them the best of my ability. But last night I was really worried about Freya. She's perfectly fine this morning. Ian got her pretty kitty litter so I can see if she has a UTI or something. Um, I guess she was just really super tired and I think she has separation anxiety and that's why she pees at the door all of a sudden. Um, cause my daughter said both times she's done it. Um, my daughter didn't even notice she did it, which I didn't know until I went in there. Um, she's at the door screaming and crying because we're outside and then I come in to pee there. So yes, and separation anxiety from animals is a real thing and she is very needy. So that's why I always said, I've always said no matter what, I was keeping Freya because she was attached to both of us like insanely like i wasn't lying like she had to stay so i'm just thinking it's separation anxiety well i did go potty in it a prayer went potty in the pretty litter but not pee okay she didn't do what i needed her to do and i have to hide it it can't stay out because they like i said some of them are eating it and some of it thinks it's a monster and they're throwing it to the house and it's horrible um Willow did go potty in it. Her pee was perfectly fine, so she has no blood in urine or anything. I kind of like this litter. Like, to me, it's like a diagnosis thing because that's very, very expensive. So, and UTIs are nothing to play with, okay? That's how, that's how Honey actually died because he, he did have feline leukemia. He was going to die sooner or later or something. I had no clue he had, had it, and if it's not treated immediately, I mean, like, immediately, there's nothing that can be done. So now at least I have this pretty litter in my house and if I can get them used to it, I can, you know, get them to use it a lot. It lasts a long time too. A bag, a bag can last two months. And if you're just using it just to test them occasionally, it can last way longer. You just put it in a tiny little box, just a little. Anyways, I know totally not keto, right? Um, but that's my life. Like, I Everything affects weight loss, okay? Everything affects your health, your sleep, your mentalness, your tiredness, your stress, your kids, your cats, your dogs, your husbands, your boyfriends, your neighbors, your family. Everything affects your weight loss because unfortunately, we are not in some isolated box where nothing affects us, right? Weight loss will never be like this because we don't live on a deserted island with all our needs taken care of and zero stress and only joy. We have things that affect the hormones of our body, left and right, okay? I have an adrenal gland issue. So I know a lot of y'all like Dr. Boz, B-O-Z. Um, I stopped following her because it, her thing is you need to stay under 80 glucose. That is great, great, great for some people. But it was stressing me out because I tried for a long time never could get it and it that's why I stopped using the keto mojo and everything because that was stressing me out that I couldn't reach that but that's unrealistic for someone like me okay my adrenal gland does not work properly so my stress levels are always high meaning my insulin is always high um so if I wake up in the morning at 81 I am freaking thrilled thrilled beyond belief those are amazing numbers so, I have polycystic ovary syndrome, I have stress of family, cats, you name it. That is why I do not watch her, because it makes me feel like I'm not achieving something I should be achieving, which is almost virtually impossible for someone in my position, and there's tons of us in these kind of positions. Um, I am not saying anything negative about her. Everyone can watch her, just like Marie Emmerich. She is not my cup of tea either. One, her husband was very rude to Wendy. Um two they are too far over here and I am not a paleo person I don't I follow people either because I love their personality and I could be friends with them in real life or because the science and the way they do it is something that I could do okay all the beginning of my journey I watched Dr. Eric Westman all the time I watched well after I found him I watched Dr. Berry um the other one I will not name that starts with a B, uh, almost made me not do keto, right? Because those seven cups of leaf, green leafy vegetables had me puking every day. And I was like, keto is not for me. I believed you really had to do that. No, you do not. But if you're doing carnivore, please, please, please take your magnesium. Um, this is, this is what happened to me. Um, two years in the keto, 19, two years in the keto, 
I was hospitalized for three days because of my sodium. It was hurting my heart. Literally, it was so low. Um, so I learned about sodium. I learned sodium is very important. Salt, 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 salt your food. Okay, learn that. About eight months rolls around. I had been doing ketovore, but really carnivore, more carnivore than ketovore. But because I was having um, some protein shakes, which is not uh, carnivore, and I was having different spices, and at that time that was not carnivore, I was ketovore. It means I had, you know, protein shakes. Um, so I got really sick, like severely sick, green throw up, tons of pain, thought I was dying, went to the ER and learned, see, when they test you and you're low magnesium, it means you don't have magnesium in your body. When it shows that you are low magnesium, it's already, already almost all gone. It only shows up when it's almost completed out of all your cells. I was very low. It was almost undetectable. And that's when I started taking magnesium every single day. Even though I take my collagen that has it, even though I do keto chow that has it, I still take my magnesium. Um, and this is what happened to me. It was perfectly fine at first until after three months. During that three months, my body went into shock because I depleted it from magnesium. When my hair fell out in the pool that day, it wasn't from the pool water. Come to find out whatever trauma, because it was like three months later, so it's totally six months span, whatever trauma hits your body three months prior and extremely low magnesium causes hair to break and fall off. It hits you three months later. That's what destroyed my hair and took me years to grow it back. That's what destroyed a lot. It messed up my diet. It messed up a lot of stuff with me. Um, so that's why I'm just preaching electrolytes. So as long as you're sodding your food like crazy and taking those magnesium, it's very hard to get magnesium from meats and it's not enough in the keto child. Um, it's just not. So not lecturing anyone. I don't want to ever see anyone in the position I was especially because of my hair, y'all. I freaked. If y'all been following me, some of y'all have been following me since the beginning, you know the whole hair disaster. And I thought it was the pool. I thought it was, you know, maybe my son in. I was like, oh my God, it all started falling out in my hair, hands because it looked, it was like it had been um, over bleached. It just fell out and fell out. And then it kept falling out. Even after she cut it all off, it fell out for months and just kept going. And she had to cut it really, really short. In the end, for six whole months, it just kept breaking, and it's because a shock to my system happened prior. Um, it takes about three months for the shock to mess up your hair and mess up things in your body. I've done a lot of research over the years. That's what I do most of my time. Um, there is a lot of YouTubers I've never watched or never heard of until y'all start talking about them, and then I go watch them. So, anyways, I've been rambling, rambling. You saw that I had some breakfast. I only ate one of those, but I'm about to go eat the second one probably, and I am going to have another ice cream tonight. I might show y'all in the video how I make it. I don't know. I have a lot to do. I need to unload the dishwasher. It's drying right now. I'll load it back up. I need to clean off all my counters and everything. I need to pull out about 14 pounds of my steak, sirloin steak, grind it in the hamburger meat, put them in pound bags probably I think I'm gonna do pound bags data and put them in the freezer so I need to do all that today um, I might grind up the chicken and do the chicken um, because I do like ground chicken because you're so seasoned and I put the keto ch chow in there and it I don't really taste the chicken um, I might ground up pork too I have not decided I need to freeze some of the steaks <sighs> so much so much people so much because uh, I don't want the food to go bad what else do I need to do? I want to make bread. I'm out of bread. I am out of Wendy's bread. I ate my last piece last night. It is my favorite thing in the world, y'all. My favorite thing, and it's helping me get the fat in because I'm doing like a tablespoon of butter on two pieces. Um, I need to up it maybe a tablespoon per piece. Now, today my fats are way higher. If I eat all that food that I showed you, um, that was 60 grams of fat alone, and I plan on eating um, the protein ice cream thing again, which has... I think 30 fats. I don't know. I'll have to look. Um, but I'm going to probably, if I eat it, make a video of it because I'm going to need to replace it. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But I 
kind of like, I guess I could get used to the hair, but I'm hoping it'll fade kind of quickly. I mean, it does bring up my eyes. But I don't know. It's just not me. To me, it looks great, y'all. It looks like I have silver hair. And that's what Dino keeps saying. Eh, yeah, you look like you have silver hair now. It's not really showing on here as much, but kind of looks a little silverly. Anyways, I will talk to y'all in just a little bit. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. These two bad boys right here. It is the Beef Sirloin Tip Roast Angus Cut. Um, it's what I get from Sam's Warehouse, and I get them to cut them for me. So some of them need to be kept as steaks and not frozen either, because we're going to eat them in the next few days. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to put Dino's. Put it in a bag all by himself because he wants to marinate it. Probably wants to put soy sauce or something on it. He wants to give it some good flavoring. I think I'm going to marinate mine for a change as well. And then I will put my mom's, dad's, and Haley's all together. And let's see, I'm not sure which. We're going to go with the better steaks. I'm not going to cut the best like the better looking steak will be kept whole so let's get into this okay come on don't want to cut the steaks i'm learning to eat frozen steak at least going this way i can eat it um i always hated meat frozen but with prices, <laughs> we cannot be picky, can we? I cannot be picky. I have to just get what I get. Oh my gosh, they cut it the wrong way. So usually they cut it the other way, so the steaks are not this big. Holy crap. Baby, do you want to come see how big your steak is? Ho ho. They cut it the wrong direction. They usually don't cut it this direction. Which means it might be a little tougher. Wow, y'all. This is insane. Holy crap. Okay. Not as much as I thought it would because they're so big. Alright, so my mom and Haley will share one. I can guarantee that one. So we're only going to pull two out for them. Like for my parents and Haley. Because... These are huge, y'all. These are over a pound and something a piece. Babe, look, he totally cut it the wrong direction. So, look how big they are. Oh. They're gigantic. <laughs> I could also cut them up and stuff that big. Yeah, they're big. Like, that is way more than one mil. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> you can tell. I'm completely in shock right this minute. Piper, I'm thinking about getting Piper fixed too. I get scared though, um, with them being so old. And now I can't get Willow fixed. That's Dino's, and he thinks it'll change her personality, and he doesn't want that. Okay, well, let's put some for roast. These are big enough to like put in a slow cooker. Let's see, let's get some good ones in the that bag. But I definitely want some for. Wow, y'all. Okay. This is insane. Like, okay, it was a new guy. Um, they normally cut it the other direction. So they are normal, like more normal size, like 10 ounces max. I can guarantee you some of these feel like they're two pounds a piece. Like, this is so heavy. So, we'll season mine up later. Because right now we are concerned about doing, getting the beef going. I'm not going to make y'all watch the horrible struggle and mess that I made trying to turn this in the hamburger meat. I got to cut it all down, which this is going to make it more difficult. 
and it was only supposed to be like half an inch thick and these are super super thick on top of it all and I have to clean my whole refrigerator because they start leaking blood everywhere. Yes, I had aluminum foil on the bottom, but it seemed to leak underneath. So that's going to be a nightmare on its own. So I'm going to grind this up real fast, and I will show you how many one-pound bags it makes. Okay, so I'm going to show you all how I make my ice cream. One second. Okay, I'm doing pumpkin. All right, I have, I'm doing all three at once. So in my little blender thingy, I have put 18 ounces of cold brew, um, like I made it on the cold, cool cycle of my French roast Starbucks. So it's more like espresso. If you do not have that, you can use anything you want for coffee or you can leave it out completely. You can also use the ones that you buy liquid. Like, I'll show you. Because my words aren't coming to me today. Mm -hmm. You can do this with any flavor too, but I want pumpkin. I totally forgot I had that or I would use that instead of this because believe it or not, that's cheaper than using the pods. All right, so since I'm making three, we're doing three of the pumpkin premiere. And if you have a Quiznart ice cream maker, you can go ahead and make the ice cream tonight if you have it frozen. Um, but I now use the Ninja Creamy, which means it's got to freeze for at least 12 hours. So I normally would do this with Keto Chow, right? But it's a little too expensive for me right now. And to me, this is way more pumpkin-y flavor. All right, so if you're on a low carb, you can put some pumpkin puree in here. Even on keto, there's a certain amount you can put in here. Organic, no sugars, no nothing. Okay. I am going to use the monk fruit golden, which is basically monk fruit and erythritol. Okay. I'm going to do one tablespoon. And this is making three. Okay. I am just going to, let's see. I've never measured pumpkin before. Well, let's try. All right. I got a half a teaspoon. Let's start with that. Mm, I'm going with a whole teaspoon. Smells so yummy. Okay, like I said, you can put whatever you want in here. Now, for fats, these only have three fats. So right now we're at three fats for making this. Um, that is not enough for me. I want these more fatty. Let's see, five fats per tablespoon. So 15. All right. Nine. I'm going with nine tablespoons to start with. I'm trying to make up about 20 fats a piece. Let me count this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going with 10. That one can spread throughout the three. And yes, it does make it a lot of calories, but I'm not worried about calories. That would make it 150 per thing, plus this, that would make it 310. Three, yep, 310. 310 for this mill. This is a full mill for me, so that I'm perfectly fine with the calories being 310. Now, I'm going to go over there and blend it. Be right back. I know I could use a measuring cup for the heavy cream. I know I um, used a little more than a half a cup, but I wanted to do the math as I went along. So here we go. You know what? I should taste it and make sure 
it doesn't need more pumpkin. Mm. You can add more cinnamon, more pumpkin, more whatever you want in here. But to me, that's good enough. That's plenty. Plenty good enough. I didn't take in consideration the space for the heavy cream, y'all. That's okay. I'm at max level. I found all of them, and I have some left. Let's find out how much I have left. Next time, I will be smart and take in consideration and make less coffee, probably. All right, so I have about a half left, and I'm going to... um. Put it in my ice cream, I'll make it right now. One second. Gonna let this fill up and soak. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now these will be ready for tomorrow and then not stand the next day because it's my new addiction. This is how I made the one I ate yesterday. And the one I'm going to eat in a few minutes. I've had it out for about 15 minutes, but this is the problem. It ate my little spinner thing, took it off of it, made a big nightmare, so I'm letting it warm up a little because for some reason the coffee in it is too hard for it to process. It's ripping the tongs off. So, I'm going to blend it last time like you should. So I'm going to let this sit probably for another 20 minutes or so just to get a little more soft in. And I'm just going to drink this. And it's like 7.14 right now. But this is how I make it. And I'll show you how it comes out after it blends. And I'll tell you how many times I blended it. Okay. So I got impatient. I went ahead and did it. Um, I did put two tablespoons of water in there. Um, I'm not going to lie. It's a different texture than Keto Chow. I do prefer its texture. But it is okay. Because of price rise right now. This is so much cheaper. Um, I ended up doing two light spins and one ice cream spin. I probably didn't even need the third spin. It, I mean, if I was to spin it. Every time you spin it, it changes the texture. It could change more. But I'm afraid it's melting too much. My house is a little warm. Okay, yesterday I did chop zero pumpkin. Um chips in there not doing it today it was good but it's a different flavor pumpkin um than this it's more fakey to me or mm, not really more fakey let me rephrase that it's more powerful like it those pumpkin chips which i love has a big kick to them um so that's why i'm not using them the white chocolate chips would be amazing. Of course, I don't have any because you know me. can't control myself with them. Milk chocolate would probably be good too. Okay, so if you like a very strong pumpkin-y flavor, that's why I would suggest putting some pumpkin puree in here or more of the pumpkin spice. Or... If you do skinny syrups, they have a billion pumpkins right now. All different kinds. Cheesecakes, donuts, cinnamon rolls, all different kind of pumpkin syrups. But I want to taste the coffee as well. So it is pumpkin coffee, like a latte. Like I can really taste both of them. Um, and neither one of them is overpowering each other. But like I said, you got to make everything to your own taste. So it is 7.30. This is my dinner. So I'm going to eat it and enjoy every single bite. Okay, so after putting the ice cream, what I ate earlier today for breakfast, all of my macros, they are all way too low. And this week is about sleep and controlling my glucose, upping my ketones, which means if I want to up my ketones, I definitely cannot under eat anything. I need to eat. I mean, I can under eat my carbs, but everything else I need to eat what I'm supposed to. That is my rules for this week to have energy. Look, I was sleepy all day. I'm wide awake now, but I should be going to bed. That's why my bedtime is until one because 
I'm wide awake. My body's just used to being awake at this time. So that being said, let me go and show you what I'm eating. I'm out of the bread, so I made me some of the ground turkey. It needed to be cooked with three eggs, a tablespoon of butter and all, and some savory chicken keto chow. I actually used a whole pack because I had a lot, so I made some more for tomorrow. It will be my breakfast. Um, so yeah, like I said, and I'm hungry, so I'm going to... Frey come bite it. Frey gave me a scare tonight. She's, uh, I think it's her. I'm not 100% sure, but I think she's peed twice in places she's not supposed to. And she was overly sleepy and it scared me. So I went and bought Pretty Litter. Um, but half of them want to eat it, including her. And the other one thinks it's a vicious, evil substance in the house, and they're topping it over and fighting with it. So the pretty litter isn't working. It's supposed to tell me if there's anything wrong, like a UTI or something, but, but no one will pee in it. They're scared of it.